We're very excited. The day we got the news um, that we'd won the lesson, we make all our science lessons really practical in this school so that the pupils get a real enthusiasm for science and for engineering. So how many of you are thinking of being scientists at some level? Quite a lot of you. Now Higgs particles are very strange. They're one of the reasons we built the Large Hadron Collider and we found that they exist. And they're very weird indeed. The idea is that every bit of space in the universe is filled with them. So that doesn't mean space out there, just a space out there between the stars. It means this room, right? And in fact, it means the space inside you. So inside you, inside everywhere, everywhere in the universe, there is a sea of these Higgs particles. And our theory was that we get substance, mass. So you look at our hand, it's a solid thing, it's made of matter. The theory was that it's like that because your little particles, your subatomic particles that make up your body, are bumping into the Higgs particles. What is dark energy and how is it formed? Ha, there's, there's a great reason you can't answer it, because the answer is don't know. We know how old the universe is, pretty much. Uh, we know how the universe evolved, pretty much. We know how solar systems form, pretty much. We have theories about the formation of life. But there are a huge number of fascinating and fundamental questions, many of which should be answered in your lifetime, which means that you are the people to answer those questions. I've always loved science, and I've, just been, I've always been really excited. Actually, when, we first, uh, when I first found out this was going to happen, I actually thought it was a wind-up. I didn't actually think it was true. When he was talking about the Large Hadron Collider and the particles colliding, I just thought it was like, amazing that they could recreate how the Big Bang happened. I sort of thought about as a physicist, like Professor Brian Cox, um, or maybe a bridge engineer, a bridge engineer because my mum used to be, want to be one of those. But the future of our economy is in knowledge, and that requires children who are at school now to want to be part of that knowledge economy. So we are talking in, in our case about STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering, mathematics. We relate music into our sound topic and children get a chance to build instruments and use those instruments so that they get an idea that science is fun at this early stage. Well events like the Big Bang Fair are very important. I think the key point is you can see what's out there but you can interact. With, with professional scientists, professional engineers, people who've done what you're aspiring to do. You know, virtually everything that we take for granted has been designed and built by scientists and engineers. I cannot imagine a, a better lifestyle than being a, a scientist or an engineer, in, in either in a company or in academia. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm delighted that I am, um, I, I suppose, caught the bug.